what's up everybody so we're out in the shop and in this episode I'm gonna give y'all both an update on the insanity builds and pick your brains a little bit for which handle material I should go with on these now I've got three choices for y'all I'm gonna show you those here in just a minute I'm gonna give y'all a little update on this because these knives have changed a ton since the last video not enough to make a whole video on it so I didn't do that plus it was my birthday this weekend so I took a little time off from filming and just kind of hung out with my family but I'm really excited about showing y'all where we're at with these two blades so we've got both of them right here and as you can see they're quite a bit different than they were in the last video where we did the heat treat process so we went ahead and finished ground the bevels on the 2x72 did a scotch bright belt finish on them these look awesome I love that transition between the bevels and the flats right there I just think that that looks really cool and look at that that's just awesome now one of the things that I've done to this is I went ahead and ground in the if you want to call them fullers <laughs> into the handle to save some weight all the way across there instead of doing uh, what a lot of people do and drilling all the holes throughout the whole entire thing just went ahead and ground that in and it removes just the same amount of material as if you're drilling all those holes so did that now it feels amazing it's got the right amount of weight to it it's balanced about in the little Ricasso area right here so that is the the little Ricasso area it balances really well I cannot wait to actually be able to use this because that is gonna be a blast and I really like how this is turning out now I could easily leave it with this finish that it has on here finish this build and call it done but I've got a bunch more that's gonna be happening to it we've got a lot of hand sanding to do we've got just we still got a lot of work so we're gonna keep working on these now that's the two-handed one here's the one-handed it is looking absolutely awesome you got that hammer texture at the top got the the fuller in the handle area right there and this is just looking absolutely beautiful feels great in the hand still and the weight on this one is pretty much in the same exact spot in that little Wakaso area right there really like the way that feels I mean it's just so comfortable in the hand and <laughs> you just can't can't complain about that those are two just awesome looking knives and one of my you know favorite things about being a knife maker is just being able to think of something and then create it I mean these did not exist last month these were not a thing nobody had these this is not something you just go on the internet and go yep cool I'm gonna buy that these were not a thing like I love that aspect of of knife making just being able to just go onto the shop and just make something like this is just ah, that is a blast absolute blast but that's those right there now when it comes to the handle material three different types quite a bit different on all of them so it's gonna be interesting to see which way y'all go so the first one and I had to buy them on a really big scale so first one zebra wood real cool grain to them zebra wood what I really like about this is whenever you end up doing uh, boiled linseed oil on these everything just pops even more and they tend to get a hair darker but that is just an awesome wood right there I think that those lines would look really cool going down these handles right here so that's option one zebra wood option two some paduk this right here so whenever you end up uh, buffing this and polishing this 
it turns a real kind of dark, just almost blood orange red. And I think this will look really cool as well on this. Once we get the, the finish on here and everything, and it'll be, because it's going to have a, a dark kind of just very scary looking finish on the blade. And that, that's the whole point behind this. But uh, I think that this with black pins would look really cool because it's going to have that blood orange effect whenever we get it all said and done. This will look really nice. So. Zebra wood, Paduk, or some good old winge. Now, this stuff looks awesome once you start shaping it. So there's just a ton of lines. You see how much grain is in here. It is just a ton. All the way through there. And as you start shaping this, all of this grain, this right here, all of that just rolls over into this and it's just so much grain going through all the scales that it just looks crazy but it's gonna be nice and dark whenever we get it all uh, buffed out and everything like that so that with black micarta pins those are the three options so you've got one that's gonna be pretty light with all the lines with black pins you got Paduk, which is going to be that blood orange with black pins. And then you got Winge, which is going to be pretty freaking dark with black pins and have a whole bunch of grain in it. So those are the three options that we're going to have for these blades. Now remember, the finishes that are going to be on these are going to be pretty dark. And it's going to be something else. Uh, it, it's definitely going to be one of those finishes that people are either going to really like or they're not going to like. It's, that's, that's the two options. They're either really going to like it or they're going to go, nope, not my cup of tea. But that's okay because it's the stuff that goes on in my head that is going to make these happen and I think it's going to look really cool and they're mine. So it is what it is. But I think that y'all are really going to like the finish on them. Just know that there's going to be some good contrast, that there's going to be a lot of dark to it. So you can either go fully dark and go with the winge. You can go kind of like a blood orangish red. Yep. With black pins and have it with the dark. Or you can go lighter with cool grain with the zebra wood. Y'all let me know in the comment section. And uh, we'll, see, uh, we'll see which one wins. But... I'm excited about this. I, I, I think that these are going to turn out really awesome. I, I think I've said that I'm excited about it probably 35 times in this video. I'm excited about it. <laughs> so guys, that's pretty much the, if, or the end of this one. If y'all would, like I said, go down in the comment section, tell me which one of those skills y'all think that I should go with with this build because I'm going to pick whichever one had the most comments, which one had the most suggestions. And uh, that's the route that we're going to go. So there you go. Guys, thank y'all for coming by. If y'all would, give this video a thumbs up. Share this video or one of my other videos. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe. we got the Shop Talk Tuesday knife coming up on Tuesday where we are focusing on hand sanding. So breaking that down, really getting into the nitty gritty, you know, pun intended, with the sanding and all that. I think y'all are going to like it. Guys. Y'all have an amazing day. Y'all stay safe out there. Catch y'all next time.